got some fans. We've got, got a few fans. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I swear to God, I don't even think like Harry Styles gets that kind of interest here. That is amazing. Did uh, you? Harry Styles doesn't hang out in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good tailgate, so I'm there. Um, do you know Laura? Have y'all ever met before? No, I, th I thought not. it was so cool the fact that we both said it's it's nice to meet, like like sincere, like wow, it was yeah. like so cool. Yeah. You know? You're both very kind. Thank you. Yes. Um, so wait, this is huge. So you're the first comedian to ever do stand up at Dodger Stadium. First of all, I said to her right before you came out, I was like, doing Dodger Stadium, that's amazing. You know how many people fit in there? That's incredible. Like, is this just like, are you freaking out? It's it's very surreal because I've been to the ballpark a million times. We've been going there since I was a kid. And so yeah. the fact that it, this show is going to happen, it's like the biggest thing I've ever done, and it's at home. Isn't that amazing? I know, that's so amazing. cool. Do you get. Do you get excited about home crowds or do you get nervous? I used to get really nervous about home shows because then, you know, you get the phone calls. Hey, man, what's up? People I haven't heard from all year, you know. Yeah. Hey, necesito boletos. I'm like, great. Yeah. I got to hook up tickets, <laughs> right? And so, you know, and then just people coming out that I haven't seen in a long time. So yeah. it's a little extra pressure. Do you say ticketmaster.com? <laughs> nice. Do you send them there? <laughs> you, you, it's, well, first of all, with Mexican families, it's hard because they guilt you. Yeah. You know, somebody know all the time. If, yeah. I yeah. think you don't have to be Mexican. All families, will, there's a level of guilt yeah. happening, but, yes. But they yeah. bring in religion and your childhood. Uh, so does Southern Baptist. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think all religious people can bring that in there. Dodger Stadium holds tens of thousands of people. So, and here you are in the early days performing for around 10 people. Oh, wow. um, This is, you've come a long way since when I said, that's amazing. Oh, man. Do you remember these kind of shows? I try not to. <laughs> but these are the ones that, 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 you know, mold you into who you become. Yeah. You know, and see, I guess ignorance is bliss because back then you don't know what a bad show is. You don't know yeah, no. bad moments or situations because yeah. you haven't been around long enough. You're just happy to be working. Yeah. And so when someone says, do you want to perform and hold a microphone next to a pool? Sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's do that. If, if I would have dropped that. <laughs> yeah, let's get electricity as close to the water as possible. <laughs> I, I've done shows in backyards off of the back of pickup trucks inside of empty swimming pools because the guy said it was good for acoustics. Well, yeah, right? Meanwhile, it looks like I'm going to fight Van Damme down yeah. there. You know what I mean? It's all empty. There's still water. Fight Van Damme. <laughs> My, I will say that one of my first gigs, I think at like a wrestling match, the national anthem, but I didn't know really what, I didn't know what wrestling was really, or like what that was gonna look like. And so I borrowed a friend's dress, and it was like a really nice black long dress, like I was going to like prom or something. Yeah. And I was, whoa, fish out of water. Like I was like, so it was the, it was, I was like ready to like feel like Whitney Houston and all these other people were like in tank tops. Have you ever had that happen with like work? Like in oh, the audition? Oh, all the time. When you're overdressed or underdressed. Yeah. It's just, you know, and everyone else got the memo and you didn't. And it's yeah. Just, you know, you might as well be standing there in a chicken suit. Wow. <laughs> I've actually been in a chicken suit yeah. party. Um, <laughs> so wait, here, it's a true story. Um, so <laughs> here you $20 are. $20 is $20. Here, you know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I was trying to win a contest. Um, so here you are with your first check um, for doing a comedy show. Look at your little face. Oh. Your little face with your braces. I love you. Yeah. Oh my God, it's yeah. It's $435.79. So what show was that for? Uh, it was for a television, my first television show appearance on Comedy Central, it's a show called Make Me Laugh. Yeah. And I did the show and when I got the check, I'm like, it took me two minutes to make this. And then in my head, I did the ghetto math where I'm like, ghetto, ghetto math. math where I'm like, if I did this for eight hours, how much, you know, you yeah. just start having those fantasies. Yes. Of, of yes. you know, that. Yes. Do you, do you remember the first thing you bought with your first professional money? That, do you remember that right what there? It? Yes, and I still have it. Uh, a leather jacket from Wilson's House of Suede. I bought, I bought a coat. I bought a coat. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it had the, uh, the liner with the zipper, right? And then yeah. it had the, the oh, thing. Oh, where you could take yeah. the yes. Oh, it was bad. I still got it. Fancy. Still fits, too. What? Fancy. Yeah. I was a... I was like, I was literally remembering like something about and I was like, well, that's yesteryear. Um, can't fit into that. Um, so do you remember your first acting like paid gig though? I was an understudy for a play called Six Degrees of Separation out of school, which was a, a Broadway show that was amazing. I, I was the happiest understudy ever. 
Like yeah. most understudies were sort of like, yeah, well, I'm never going on. But yeah. I, 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 I yeah. loved it. I, I, was, I would sit in the catwalk. I would sit way up high and yeah. watch the show. I loved it to pieces, yeah. I love that. I love those moments too. Like where I hope I never, I don't feel like I, I still get excited. What? I hope I never get jaded like that. You know, you run into people like, that kind oh, of get it's, jaded. it's only. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I don't know where the accent came from, but that's how I sound uh, when I look at you my... Go, own. You, uh, I love that she becomes an old smoker, and yeah. then you... <laughs> I become, you become British. an old British man. <laughs> I like, say, uh, <laughs> they're trying to pay me in pesos. <laughs> <laughs> British pesos.